Hey, what's up, YouTube? I wanted to put together a pretty much uncut an entire trail. It was my favorite trail that Alex, Jason, and myself did a couple weekends ago. Um, and I wanted to show you guys the entire thing and talk over a little bit and kind of explain what was going into my mind. Alex took lead. He's probably the most familiar with the trail system area around there. He does a ton of downhill mountain biking um, in the area and he's ridden it a couple times apparently on his dirt bike. I was having a lot of issues with my front suspension. I've been playing with it. I've been trying to get it right. I just have not been able to get it right. I feel like it's really deflecting me off of everything really harshly and it's made me a little timid actually in riding and you're going to see some of that happen. Don't tell him I said this, but I actually think Alex is a little faster than me in the fast and flowy sections. And in places that he knows, he definitely is. You'll see right here some of that front end punishment as it deflects off the rocks really harshly. I'm trying to keep my weight to the rear so it's as light and nimble as it can be, but it's not really helping. It's just really harshly deflecting off stuff. No lie, I think I was throwing a temper tantrum right there. <laughs> I was frustrated. Watch this deflection right here. Boom! You're going to see right here that harsh deflection. It did not absorb it all into my suspension. It pretty much just ricocheted me off that roof. I'm worried about how far Alex is. You know, I don't want to get too far behind him. I don't want to look like a chump and have him waiting for me at the end of the trail. All I'm doing is trying to focus on keeping that front end really light so it just bobs along stuff so I don't have to have it really hard impact anything. Just keeping my body weight towards the rear of the bike and trying to take, you know, smooth lines where I can essentially roll around or through some of the more technical area. Another really harsh deflection right here. It just jerks my handlebars. Alex is a great rider. However, I feel like I'm a bit better in the technical than he is. So I'm just trying to pick a good line, keep momentum, stay smooth. You'll see my front end deflect pretty harshly right here. But I'm keeping my weight to the rear of the bike so my front end can bob over those sections. Being smooth pays off. I end up having to wait for Alex and Jason. I think Jason took a little bit of a cleaner line, um, but I'm riding with friends, so I have no problem waiting for them. We're here to ride together. After we all made it to the same spot, I ended up taking lead. I was aware that there was going to be downhill mountain bikers, so I was going to be as courteous as possible because technically they have the right away and I'm not here to hurt anyone. If you ever watch the third point of view uh, for the pros in any of the Erzberg races and stuff like that, their ass is so far over the rear of the bike when they're doing like full lock turns and stuff like that, like downhill or off camper stuff. Anytime that the front end really needs to move, they're, they're just keeping that front end as light as possible. I can hear Alex's bike behind me and I don't want him to get too close, you know, I don't want to have him where he's just able to ride my ass the entire time. So if you think about that, oddly enough, you'll ride slower and you'll make mistakes. So it's kind of like a, you got to push it out of your mind and just focus on what you're doing. I won't lie, my arms are tired. My front suspension is making me work for it. Look how much it's jerking me around.
our first downhill mountain biker, they have the right of way. We don't want to get them injured. We don't want to get injured Board ourselves. Ahead. So we go ahead and pull over and let him pass. It really is a stunning, beautiful area. And that's something I love about this sport. Another mountain biker. Luckily they can hear us because we sure cannot hear them. No, they're so silent on the trails and they're actually quicker than a lot of the dirt bikes. I'm not sure what happens right here if I wasn't just paying attention or I thought the trail was going somewhere else. I, I, I don't know. That was just terrible riding. Right here, I see this cool rock up ahead. It's almost like a path. Oh wait, it's ice. It was freaking ice. Yeah. Yeah. The ice hazard definitely got into my head a little bit. I wasn't sure if I was going to see more and I didn't want to come around a turn or something and, and kind of miss it and lay my bike down, you know, really hard. Luckily in that pass section, it was a little technical, so I slowed down, but man, uh, I've crashed pretty hard on some ice before in snow and it's not as soft as you think it would be. I felt like between the ice hazards, not knowing the trail, my front end just bouncing off things like it's a Super Bowl, and the downhill mountain bikers, it was best to be a little cautious and not just, you know, fly around as fast as I can. These trails though, they're so well maintained, they're so open. I mean, if you watch my other videos, they're not nearly as tight as the stuff I typically ride into. I mean, not even in the same universe. Uh, you could really fly on these trails if you got to know them. I'm talking like, for me, because I'm geared so low, probably fifth and sixth gear in some sections, definitely fourth and fifth. I was hitting fourth and fifth in some of this to begin with. And that's pretty fun, man. I mean, just be able to just rev out and just scream through some trails with trees blurring past you. It's an awesome feeling. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're still watching, thank you. I appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe if you'd like to. And, you know, always just give me a comment and stuff. I like responding to the comments. And I enjoy every single one I get. You know, I'm a small channel and it isn't like I get 20,000 comments hey, on every video. Jason. And, you know, it's just nice, man. It shows that people are engaged or at least want to have a conversation. Anyways, for all you guys that He's ride off. and gals, happy rides, safe rides, and keep growing your skill set.